If you have an Insta360 camera, then you may be wondering how to get the highest quality possible footage after editing and exporting your clips. I often hear people ask, how do I get the kind of quality I see in the Insta360 trailers? Or how do some of the YouTubers and influencers get their footage looking so good? Let's face it, video quality isn't Insta360 camera's uh, strong suit, so you should make sure you're using the right settings and using the right program to edit your footage. In this video, I'm gonna be comparing the same clips but using different export settings and different export options. So we can see if there's really a difference and if there's enough of a difference to warrant some extra steps when we're editing and exporting our Insta360 videos. There are two main ways to edit your Insta360 clips and that is using either the Insta360 app or the Insta360 desktop software, both of which are free. The app has more editing options including an AI editor and automatic special effects. However, the limits of a phone app means the export generally is lower quality. Whenever exporting using the Insta360 app, you're going to want to select the custom export option that allows you to select your own export settings. We're going to take a look at the difference, but in general, the default export settings are slightly lower quality than if you go in and select your own. Thanks to recent updates, you can now export in 4K using the Insta360 app. And you can adjust the bitrate all the way up to 150 megabits per second. However, this is a bit overkill and a bitrate of around 80 megabits per second will be sufficient. Anything higher will just add to the size of the file but won't really increase the quality. However, to get the best quality out of your Insta360 cameras, the Insta360 Desktop Studio is the way to go. When exporting using the desktop software, you'll see there are a few options, with the, with the best setting being 4K resolution using the ProRes codec. So I've shown you a couple of comparisons as I've been talking, but let's dive a bit deeper into these comparisons. I've selected the same clips, used the Insta360 app to edit and export, and also used the Insta360 Studio to edit and export those same clips. I've also messed around with the different settings, using both the default settings in those programs, and using the settings that I just recommended before, so we can see what the difference is. So first off, we're gonna look at the app at its default settings versus the desktop export at its best settings. Now, we can see here that there is a slight difference in quality. Uh, the ProRes desktop export exporting slightly more colorful, sharper footage, but to be honest, the difference isn't absolutely massive, even though the app export is just at uh, 25 megabits per second, but I still think there is a visible difference, um, particularly when we zoom in. You can see here that I zoom in in a screenshot, the desktop export has less noise and is slightly sharper. But is the difference massive? No. Now, if we bump up the app export to 4K at 80 megabits per second, so that is the best quality that the app can export at, to be honest, the app doesn't really change that much, the app export, even though I've upscaled it to 4K and bumped up the bitrate. The difference is still quite, well, the difference is still minimal between the two, but the app doesn't really change that much even when you change the settings. I still think the desktop export here using ProRes 4K is visibly better, particularly in these uh, zoomed in, you can see definitely more sharpness in the zoomed in features. Right now I'm gonna look at just the app and the difference between leaving it at its default settings and upscaling to 4K. To be honest, in these examples, I'm really not seeing much of a difference when upscaling to 4K in the app. And I'm not sure if it actually does anything. Uh, just from what I can see here, from zooming, or well, just from playing these videos and then zooming in, I zoom in to about three or 400%. There really isn't much of a difference even when you add the extra resolution and the and bump up the bits rate. I really can't tell a difference at all. Now doing the same thing looking at the desktop program, the, the desktop studio, upscaling from its default settings, which is again 1080p at 25 megabits per second versus ProRes at 4K. Now here there is a difference. You may not be able to see it that much when uh, it's playing, but zooming in, pausing and zooming in, there is definitely a difference, particularly in this example here. You'll see in a second when I zoom in. The ProRes 4K, you can see it's quite a bit sharper. You can see a lot more details. 
But is again, the difference isn't absolutely massive. When playing it back, there really is not much of a difference between the two. Maybe slightly more sharper in the ProRes 4K export, but it's not going to make a huge difference, guys. The most difference you're going to get is when you take these videos and edit them in a more advanced program like Premiere Pro or uh, DaVinci Resolve. That's how we get the hyper excellent quality that we see in the trailers and the uh, what the influencers do. So to summarize guys, using the Insta360 Studio with the ProRes format upscaled to 4K remains the best way to get the absolute best quality from your Insta360 cameras. Will just doing that result in the kind of quality you see in the trailers and some uh, professional camera users, influencers that you see on YouTube? No, you still need to do some extra editing to get that kind of quality. To get that kind of quality, you really need to use another program like Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve to color correct, to boost the dynamic range, even to add some sharpness, even to upscale further. So take those trailers with a grain of salt. Also, they are usually shot in perfect lighting conditions, in perfect scenarios. So it is possible to get those kinds of shots you see in these trailers but you need to go through this quite intense editing process use but to be honest guys even though exporting with the insta 360 app does result in slightly lower quality footage as we've seen in these comparisons it's not a huge huge difference particularly if the videos you're going to be making are going to be primarily viewed on a phone screen so that's for instagram TikTok. if you're making videos for that format vertical videos then exporting and editing using the phone app is barely going to make any difference. Your viewers are not really going to be able to tell. And you're going to get all of the advanced editing features available in the phone app, all of those special effects. If you do want to get the kinds of shots you've seen in the Insta360 trailers and that the influencers are doing, then please check out my Ultimate Insta360 video course. Not only will I teach you how to get the best quality footage, but I'll also teach you how to set up your camera and a step-by-step -step guide on how to shoot these intense, unique shots that only Insta360 cameras are capable of, including step-by-step -step guides on how to edit them as well. Check that out in the link in the description. So plenty more guides coming up, guys. I hope that's been useful. I'll see you next time. Bye.